Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install plugins on a 1.13 Spigot server. Now I'm assuming that your Spigot server is already up and running and if it isn't then go check out the eye above my face all the way at the top of the video up there or check out the link in the description down below to see exactly how you can start your very own Spigot server. It's free, it's awesome, go check it out there. But if you want a 24 hour server, a server that's up all the time, I would recommend checking out game servers. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash mc server to get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected spigot server for just $1 per month. It's going to be running 1.13 and all that awesome stuff. So again, check it out at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash mc server. Nevertheless, once you've got your spigot server set up, Installing plugins on it is pretty easy. First off though, you need to find some plugins. And there's going to be a few links down below, one of which is going to take you here, where you're going to be able to see all of the bucket plugins, and bucket plugins work for Spigot, by the way. Any and all plugins that work on Bucket will also work on Spigot, which is great. And for this, we can see a huge list here, but unfortunately, if we go to versions here and go to Minecraft 1.13, none of these plugins have updated yet. Yet. They will update in the future. Right now though, you can click on the third, fourth, fourth link, I don't know, down below, and it will take you here, where you can see all of the currently compatible and working plugins. Some of them are experimental builds. Most of these are still working out issues and stuff. As you can see, see these are, are kind of working with frequent crashes and things like that, but they're working on updating. So that's what we're looking at here. This is linked down below for now. Eventually, they'll stop updating this as plugins start coming in over here. Nevertheless, though, we are going to be doing and installing today grief prevention, right? This is going to stop people from being able to grief in survival worlds and allow you to claim land and do all sorts of stuff like that. So we're going to be installing this and I will link directly to this down below as well. If you want to download this plugin, I would however recommend checking to see if there is a newer version out. 16.8 is what we're going to be using here. But go ahead and click on grief prevention dark jar there and it will download the jar. We want to keep this file right down there. Now if we minimize our browser, we should have it here on our desktop. If it's not on your desktop, no worries. Hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. That's going to open up Run here. We then want to type in Downloads, hit Enter, and it'll be here in your Downloads folder. You can drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's get it installed on your server. Now every single plugin out there, every single bucket plugin that also works for Spigot, every single Spigot plugin is going to be installed in this way. Just open up your Spigot server folder. Go ahead and open up the plugins folder that's within this right here, right? See plugins right there. Take the plugin you downloaded, in this case Grape Prevention, but this would work for World Edit, this would work for Permissions X, whatever plugin you're using, and then just drag it into your plugins folder. Now we want to go ahead and start our server using our bat file, whether yours is run.bat, whatever, doesn't matter. I'm also going to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.13 just to show you guys that uh, things are working on the game and stuff as well. So as you can see over here, our um, our server will start in 15 seconds, which is right now. There it goes. And actually, if you watch over here, you'll see detecting plugins, and then it'll say grief prevention is a plugin that it detects. But once this is done, set up, there it goes. And if we scroll up here, if it'll let me. Yeah, it keeps pushing me back down. But grief prevention was loaded there. Eventually, it'll come in, and it will say done right there it goes now we can go ahead and join this server I'm just going to direct connect directly to my local ip address here just so we can uh join on in and there we go now how do we check to see if grief prevention is installed well i forget some of the different commands for grief prevention but as you can see right there if we just type grief here is our list of all kinds of grief prevention stuff we can actually come up here and do like abandon all claims hit enter I don't have any land claims, right? And then I believe you can claim land. I forget if it's done with just a wooden shovel. It's been a while since I've used this plugin, but I believe you can uh, actually claim land with this as well. Maybe. Yeah, for, I forget how to claim land, but there are guides and stuff on that. This isn't how to show you how to use screen prevention. This is showing you how to get plugins. And I don't think there's any denying with uh, all of these commands here that grief prevention is in fact 
installed in this world. Nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more awesome Minecraft 1.13 videos as well as incredible tech videos coming at you every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.